Emerald tree bows are fantastic. Gotta give emerald tree bows kisses sometimes. Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Space Lizard Exotics. I'm very stoked to do this video for all you wonderful, amazing human beings. Have you taken that strike and a subscribe button yet? And that bell notification, just take a strike at it. That way you can stay up to date with all the amazing reptile videos that we do at Space Lizard Exotics. And hey, give us a shout out on social media too. Hit us up on Instagram and also TikTok. Anyway, let's get started on today's video. What are we talking about today? How much does it cost and to maintain the reptiles that we keep here at Space Lizard Exotics and the initial upfront cost to kind of get everything kind of kicking and started. So let's discuss that. Let's get some of these little reptilians out and discuss some fun, awesome things today. I figured I might as well just get the green tree out. How much does it cost to get one of these amazing snakes plus get one of their enclosures set up and their enclosures? So let's talk about their enclosure for a second. Come on over. So an exoterra enclosure like this, you're going to be looking about 170 to 180 80 bucks out the door depending on where you get it you'll see some uh, certain deals online or even local pet stores local pet stores seem to have a lot better deals too super rad so go support your local pet stores and all that jazz another thing like this too so i do recommend lighting right but i like these just because they slip sit super flat on top of the enclosure they're not expensive either you get these for about 100 bucks right now they're basically they're the led and uvb combinations they also just have the LED also. Now, let's talk about the snake. So if you're looking at particularly getting like green tree pythons or emerald tree boas or anything as such, so they can be uh, a little costly depending on what type of locality you get. Now, if you are interested in getting uh, green tree pythons, that's particularly what I'm gonna be talking about today, green trees and emerald tree boas. These costs do not technically reflect every snake. With green tree pythons, they could range anywhere between 500 to about $700 depending on where you get it from, you know, whether it's captive bred, whether it's wild caught, farm, uh, farm bred, whatever it may be. Some green tree pythons, if you do prefer like Biox or certain types like I do, Biox could go from about 350 to about 450. That's usually what I've been seeing the about average price online for Biox green tree pythons. I personally like keeping Arus and Sarongs. If you check out some of my other videos, we kind of discuss the mannerisms and temperaments of those particular reptiles. So I'm gonna get this little gem back in her little enclosure here pretty soon too. And we're gonna talk about what else is in this little enclosure for, little add-ons and all those things too, right? Come on, honey, there you go. Super cool snake. Things like this, like, you know, you're looking at little offset items, you know, that technically aren't the main importance. You know, after you get your heat, after you get your lighting, after you get your enclosure, then you can start getting all the fun, like your little Buddha statues, the branches, things like that. Now, if you're keeping arboreal snakes, they definitely need something to hang off of. They're not gonna be terrestrial. They're not gonna be hanging on the ground. So, so things like this, they range from about 10 to $20, depending on the types of wood. Water dishes, you're looking about 20 bucks for a good water dish, depending on what style you get. These bad boys, right? These, you've seen these everywhere. If you own reptiles, you at least have one of those in your house, I promise you but they last forever, they really do. Those things last the test of time, they're super cool. They're about 30 bucks starting. Um, the super small ones are about 20. Just keep that in mind when you are getting food dishes and uh, water dishes, depending on what reptile you're keeping. In this case, water dishes, because they do not need food dishes, because we tongue feed these bad boys. Oh my gosh, and little naughty girls. Now soil, things like this, buying a bag of reptisoil, a large bag is about 30 bucks. That will last you quite some time, especially if you're just dealing with one, two enclosures. Because most of the time you're gonna be mixing stuff within that substrate, I recommend. Watch some of those other videos if you get a chance, especially if you're keeping arboreal snakes or anything that does take a higher humid environment. When it comes to beneficials, you're looking at about 10 bucks for a culture, right? Depending, 10 to $15 per culture. And those cultures range, I recommend springtails, dairy cows. We had some powdery blues in one of the enclosures that I'm really stoked about. That's really what you do need for an enclosure like this. We also have the substratum on the bottom I recommend. But you're looking at, you know, round that price range for those types of items if you're looking at to set up something about this big. Also, the biggest important as well is heat. Uh, even if your room is gauged around 84 degrees, doesn't drop below that 75 degree mark, you definitely need that during the day. Set it up on a basically like a digital thermostat timer basically, that's the best way I could put it. If you watched my last video, I picked up two of them. They're only like 70 bucks for a thousand watt. Go pick those up, they're awesome. It'll save you a lot of time, a lot of headaches, and you also always ensure that your temperature is always gonna stay 
exactly what they need to be inside your enclosure. So always keep the heat on there. Heat lamps are depending on the size of the enclosure. Now you do see I have the nanos on this size of the enclosure. Those nanos perfectly keep my temperature exactly where I need, to, need it to be at for that type of enclosure. On this one up here, she does definitely take the larger type of dome for the heat on there, but at the same time, that's perfect for her type of enclosure. So just range it depending on what type of enclosure you have. Keep your thermostat in there. Make sure your temperatures are legit. You'll be rocking and rolling, okay? So these range anywhere between 20 to about $30 depending on for the actual dome itself. The bulb, around that same price range too. Get ceramic, do not get any red heat lamp bulb. I'm super against red heat lamps, heat bulbs, they're garbage, they're outdated, don't do it. Just get a ceramic heat emitter, it's way better for them. When it's, when it's nighttime, it's nighttime. Just turn off the lights, just make sure it's dark. They're, they're still going to see that as light. Let's talk about the food, right? Got to get the nom noms in. I would say I spend about 70 to sometimes about 80 bucks a month on food. That's purchasing wean rats and pup rats. That's really what mine are eating currently right now. Things like this even too, they're about 20 bucks. Um, those little odds and ends are something that you could go to afterwards, kind of adding things as you go, leaves, peat moss, things like that. So you're gonna be looking around 10 to 20 bucks for those. Watch some of the other videos that we posted here at Space Little Exotics of how we set up our bioactive stuff, our soil, do some research too, read about it, get creative with it, and make sure that you know it's gonna suit your animal. Now, if you are, like I said, interested in getting green tree pythons and arable tree boas, sometimes the initial upfront cost can be a little expensive, but the maintenance on those are not expensive whatsoever. So you're looking realistically the biggest cost after you get everything set up is going to be technically your food, right? Your food is gonna be, like I said, about 70 to 80 bucks a month. It's not really a lot. I spend probably more a month on energy drinks and coffee just to be transparent. So keeping these types of animals are not expensive. Currently, I have four snakes. So that's gonna be my two emerald tree boas and my two green tree pythons. Who knows? Am I adding another snake here soon? You're gonna to have to subscribe. You're gonna to have to take a bite on that subscribe button so you can see on the next couple of videos because we may or may not have some cool, exciting things to talk about. Emerald tree boas are fantastic. Oh my gosh, we're gonna change this one out to his little thing and I'm gonna put it. Get it off his little fluker thing. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. All right, cool. So we got Khan off his uh, Fluker's brand. This is one of the amazing emerald tree boas that we have here at Space Lizard Exotics. But he is a guy on a shield variant. The guy on a shield variants, of course, those are going to be the most affordable emerald tree boas. They range from anywhere from about 400 bucks to about 500. I have never, not really seen a guy on a shield variant, you know, really go above that price point unless they were uh, adults and proven breeders, then you could get up to about $700 range. If you're looking into the Amazon Basin emerald tree boas, which I one day definitely want in my collection, not because they're expensive snakes, has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with the pattern on those snakes. But those snakes could range from about 2000 to, uh, I've seen them up to about $4,800 per snake. Isn't that crazy? So hey everyone, I hope this video was fun, informative. I hope that I at least kind of gave a, at least a decent price range about how much you would be expecting to spend. But hey, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you're staying rad. And keep in mind that we are going to be doing some more videos with some updates on some animals. So, hey, take a bite out of the subscribe button. That way you don't miss out on what we're gonna be adding to this amazing collection here at Space Lizard Exotics. And as always, everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. It means the world to me, all you amazing rad humans. Stay rad, everyone, and we will see you all next time.